Okay, so today's gear demo is going to be a little bit different. Uh, in the, the past few gear demo videos I've made have been specifically with hardware, analog hardware, uh, as opposed to software. Today, it's, um, it's kind of a, uh, it is a piece of hardware. We're going to be demoing uh, some uh, plugins that are available on the Discrete 8 or various other Antelope Audio interfaces. Um, specifically today, we're going to be looking at the Reel to Reel plugin, which uh, this plugin uh, happens, the processing happens on the Discrete 8 itself. So if you are uh, working with an older computer or uh, just have a, feel like you don't have a very powerful computer available, the Discrete 8 and I think the Discrete 4 and some other Antelope audio interfaces allow you to offload the processing for these plugins onto the interface itself. So you can you can keep that CPU and RAM usage down on your actual machine. Uh, specifically, the reel to reel uh, it, it uh, emulates what would happen if you were to use tape on specific tracks. Um, it's very interesting. I've been playing around with it for about five minutes just to see what I was going to talk about during this this demo. Um, what we're going to do is just like my typical gear demos, I'm going to run a drum loop uh, drum loop through it. Uh, and then we're going to pass a, uh, a stereo guitar track. It's just a single guitar. Uh, and then finally, we're going to pass a, uh, a, more a more large mix with guitars, bass, drums, etc. Um, and so just uh, one thing to note, uh, I have an Orion, uh, an Orion 32 uh, studio, which allows you to actually use... Um, to combine two tracks into a stereo track so that you only instantiate one plugin. Um, but here on the discrete 8, it seems like I can't do that. I'm, I may be missing something, but uh, I wish I could uh, only uh, instantiate one reel to reel across two tracks. Um, if you look, I'm not allowed to instantiate any more. You're only allowed to instantiate two instances of it. Um, so. I think that that's basically it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going. I'm let's, I've got them in bypass at the moment. These are the default settings for the reel-to-reel -reel plugin. Uh, so once you load them up, all of these right here are. Uh, uh, I haven't. I've, I've reset all of the settings. Let's go ahead and listen to the drum loop uh, as is, with no processing on it, so that we know what what it sounds like, and then we'll start uh, throwing. We'll take these out of bypass and uh, see what kind of uh, changes. Basically, they, these are going to kind of add a lo-fi um, a lo-fi effect. Uh, tape generally adds a, a, a level of compression, so it brings up, uh, it kind of makes lows a little bit more apparent. Um, uh, we'll see what happens. I think that it was, it was, I was having a lot of fun playing around with it earlier. Let's uh, listen to this drum loop real quick. It's a very clean drum recording. All right, let's take these out of bypass. You can immediately hear how lo-fi it sounds. Unfortunately, I can't just make one change and have it affect both tracks, so I'm gonna have to go back and forth. tape type. That third tape type seems to bring out a little bit more high end. There's definitely a level of saturation coming in with this tape as well. Oh yeah. So the uh, IPS is inches per second, and it, it is effectively what is um, how much tape is passing uh, through at it per second. You can hear a little bit more definition with 30 inches per second as opposed to 15. I like this third tape right here.
add a little bit more more saturation, a little bit more lo-fi aspect on the over setting. Let's go under. So NAB versus IEC um, is really kind of a European versus American or Japanese versus uh, European style. Let's keep it on NAB. We can increase the hiss. We won't hear that until we get to the silent part. Yeah, you can hear it. down. Now the wow and flutter is going to add kind of a flanging effect. Oh yeah, you could hear it immediately. That's very 80s style. <laughs> down. Let's really crank that up. That's almost disorienting. I'm listening on headphones, and maybe not so much on the speakers. Let's kind of just give that very, very slight. There we go. So if we boost the input, that's really going to add more saturation and compression. tape with all of these settings. Woo! That sounds cool. That three really kind of adds a slight high end bump. Let's go to normal here. I want to, uh, I'm just going to take these off and re-add it so that it's all at the default settings again. All right, let's go with the guitar track. See what Wild Flutter does to this. Ooh, interesting. Oh, <laughs> it's a psychedelic feel. Oh, I'm on different tape pipes. Let's go to 30 IPS. Give it a little bit more definition.
very interesting. It almost has a chorusing effect or a flanging effect. That wow and flutter. Final track, I'm just going to remove these settings again, set it back to the way it should be, and we're going to move on to the next one. So uh, you may use this plugin to on specific tracks within a mix, maybe just on the drums, maybe just on background vocals, um, but we are going to, uh, you can also use it as a final mastering effect effectively, effectively. <laughs> um, you know, this uh, if you've got a track that maybe is just coming off too clean, you want to add some grit, you want to add a little bit of more of a, um, a 70s or an 80s feel to it, because that's exactly how they would have recorded their music, as opposed to have been 100% digital, almost clinical. Um, you can use these two, you can use this reel-to-reel uh, -reel plugin to add a, a bit more of a, a vintage feel to your tracks. Uh, and so that, that's what we're going to do with this. This is a uh, this final Pompistador track is uh, it's a fin finished product. It's been pushed to Spotify, um, but let's see what kind of uh, vintage feel we can get with it. it uh, uh, it's a, an acoustic guitar with some uh, kind of oikomova guitar solo style things. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's put it in bypass. and put up a little bit. Really add some blue. That over really adds a kind of a pillow effect, like it's being played under a blanket. on the hi-hat. I took it off. Yeah, that 38 inches per second makes a huge difference on that bass. So uh, you want to get out of here? Very interesting. Well, I hope this was an educational uh, demo of the Discrete 8 reel-to-reel plug-in. 
Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit more. Like these, uh, this has a, a huge tons of effects. Uh, specifically, uh, I would end up doing the guitar amps and guitar cabinets um, on I. My Orion 32 actually has all of the EQs and compressors, so I probably would demo that for for demoing the compressors and EQs as opposed to using this. Anyway, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the holidays.